Ada, for leaving the hospital after my sister gave birth and announced the name of her baby. I, 32F, have been dealing with infertility for seven years now. My husband and I are prepared for the fact we might never get to have a child together, but it's not easy. We're both currently in individual therapy to help us process all of this and find a way to be at peace regardless of what the future holds for us, but I truly hope we are lucky enough to have a child. My husband and I have baby names picked out. We never talk about them, but we have a little note on our baby name book with our boy and girl name pick. It's in our bedroom. We don't look at it much anymore, but it keeps us hoping, you know. My sister 36F has five daughters and two weeks ago she gave birth to her first son. My husband was working, but I was at the hospital with my parents and my sister's ILS waiting for the birth. Once he was born, we were called in to meet my nephew and my sister told us they'd chosen the name Elio for him. She said the name was originally mine and my husband's top choice, but since we wouldn't be having any kids after all this time, she decided they should use it and not let the name go to waste being kept secret by me. It was then I remember seeing my sister at my room while she was pregnant a few months before. I thought nothing of it at the time, but realized she'd been snooping. My parents asked how she could do that without talking to me first. My sister replied that it seemed a shame to waste a perfectly good name if I asked her not to use it. I couldn't handle it and I left. I didn't even say congrats or anything. I left and went home and I cried for a while. The very next day my sister called and asked me why I made it such a big deal. She also decided to drop that she was hurt. I never discussed my baby names with her, gatekeeping them, even when I knew I wouldn't have a baby. I asked her how she could, could go out of her way to take the one name my husband and I had picked. She called me sensitive. I ended the call without another word. My parents checked in on me two days after. But since then, my parents have said I should let it go and apologize for walking out. My sister also said I made her postpartum time and it was very selfish on my part. 